Tokyo is one of the largest cities in the world. Its enormity has provided the country with tons of financial opportunities, and because of that, it's also considered one of the busiest places. After a hard day's work, it's only normal to unwind, right? Thankfully, Tokyo has no shortage of entertainment after sunset. Here are the top 10 best things to do there at night. 10. Play video games You might be wondering why video gaming is on the list. If you're in some other country, it may not be worthwhile. However, if you're in Japan, playing video games is surely one of the best things you can do at night. Akihabara, the go-to district in Tokyo for electronic products and anything related to otaku culture, is the place to be. You all know that Japan is one of the leading countries in terms of video gaming equipment, right? In Akihabara, there are arcades of many kinds. There are the retro ones that you love playing while growing up, and there are those cutting-edge machines that utilize virtual reality. Literally, you can play anywhere in the district. You can do it alone or with a company. 9. Try Authentic Dishes Is there any difference between eating in broad daylight and at night? In Tokyo, there is. At nighttime, food transforms from being a source of nourishment to a source of comfort. If you want to grab a bite, you should try Japan's authentic dishes. Craving for ramen? You have countless options in Tokyo. If you're not familiar with the process of purchasing, most ramen shops need you to buy a ticket from a machine up front and present it to the servers. However, if ramen is unavailable, a great alternative is shabu shabu. If you're looking for some street food, Piss Alley is an amazing place to stop by. The name may have a gross origin, but the place surely has an admirable architecture dating back centuries ago. It's a narrow alley, yet all the izakayas, small pubs, can offer a more relaxed ambiance than fancy restaurants. While you're here, you have to try yakitori, or Japanese skewered chicken. 8. Explore unique restaurants Aside from the traditional eating experience, how about you try to explore Tokyo's unique restaurants? Shinjuku is a district that offers a lot of activities at nighttime. It also has the famous robot restaurant. This place may have weird techno vibes, but it provides so much colorful entertainment. The often sold out 90 minute show costs around 8,000 yen or roughly $60 per head. Another unique restaurant that opened in Shinjuku is the Ninja Restaurant. As the name suggests, the place has ninja themes all over, including staff that dress and act like a ninja. The original store is at Akasaka. Kids will also surely be entertained while enjoying the meals. However, do not bring your kids if you want to visit Kawahi Monster Cafe. This is another must-try unique restaurant with themes as crazy as the robot restaurant or even more. Visitors will be treated with sensory overload entertainment, from decor to the show itself. The cover charge, including the show, is 500 yen, or 373 per person. 7. Admire the Lights The next best thing to sunlight is the city lights provided by many store signboards and advertising avenues at night. Tokyo's just a bedazzling place to stroll after sunset since there are seemingly an innumerable number of neon lights here. Being one of the busiest places on Earth, the city has many stores still open after dark, hence the endless neon light show. There are three places highly recommended to observe and admire these neon lights. The best place is in Shibuya, specifically the famous Shibuya Crossing. It's equivalent to New York's Times Square. Shinjuku also offers a similar feast to the eyes due to its red light district. The last one is Akihabara, being dubbed the Electric Town. You surely feel electrified visiting this area. 6. Relax Want to relax at night? Instead of going straight to bed, how about a nice warm bath first? In Japanese culture, sento, public bath, and onsen, hot spring, are part of the conventional form of relaxation. If you've tried saunas, then trying onsens and sentos will not be an awkward experience for you. If you're wondering why Tokyo has so many onsens, one of the easiest explanations is the geological feature that's obvious to see anywhere in the city. Mount Fuji, which is a dormant volcano. Onsens and sentos can appear either traditional or modern. You can enjoy one with an average price of 500 yen per head. Some of the well-known establishments are the Tokyo Ojikubo Onsen Nagaminoyu 
and the Tokyo Dome City Spa La Cua. For those unfamiliar with the shared bath experience, you can relax since many of the facilities ban those with tattoos that are affiliated with gangs. 5. Enjoy the view. What's better than the Neon Light Fest is a full view of the city at night. If you're on a tight budget, the viewing area from the top of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building is free. It has two observation decks, one on each tower, which can stay open until 11 p.m. If you're looking for more, you have two towering options, the Tokyo Tower and the Tokyo Sky Tree. Both offer a grand view of most of the city, but for a fee. In case you don't know, the symbolic Tokyo Tower measures 330 meters with two observation decks at the 150-meter mark and 250-meter mark. On the other hand, the modern Tokyo Sky Tree measures almost twice at 630 meters. It offers a 360-degree panoramic experience on its observation deck at the 350-meter mark. A more recent viewing attraction is the Shibuya Sky Observatory, wherein you can observe the busy life of the heart of Tokyo. Can't get enough? With a generous budget, you can opt for a helicopter ride at nighttime. For 15 minutes, you can traverse from Disney Resort and then pass the districts of Odaiba, Shinjuku, Shibuya, and Asakusa before returning to the home base. 4. Shop Night shopping is always one of the pastimes in Tokyo at night. The ultimate store for that is Don Quixote, also referred to as Donkey. Don Quixote is Japan's largest discount store. The best thing about this department store, aside from the variety of goods and affordability, is the availability. All Donkey stores are open 24-7. The biggest one in Tokyo is located in Shibuya. The Shibuya branch is a seven-story building filled with all kinds of merchandise. Some of these can only be found in Japan, such as those quirkily designed products. There are also Donkey stores in Shinjuku Kabukichu, Akihabara, and Asakusa. 3. Experience Cultural Activities The mixture of tradition and modernization is always identifiable in Japan. Even though the country is one of the forefront leaders in technology, history is still being preserved as much as possible. Evidence of that is the cultural activities that you can experience in Tokyo. Asakusa is one of Tokyo's districts known for many cultural activities this is mainly due to the numerous buildings in the Edo period being retained and religious places being frequently visited. This means a lot of traditions are still celebrated there. If you want a traditional Japanese experience, you can rent a kimono and wear it casually around the district. If you're visiting during summer, you'll be witnessing many fireworks festivals just like those depicted in Japanese rom-com and anime that you've watched. 2. Visit Adult Entertainment Stores whether you're celebrating an achievement or want to escape from a tiring day, singing from the top of your lungs is usually a very popular entertainment choice in Tokyo at nighttime. This is because of the outstanding number of karaoke bars that you can avail of all over the city. A few of the great karaoke places are the Rainbow Karaoke Shibuya and Pasella Shinjuku. If singing's not your passion, maybe you can dance the night away. Rapongi has amazing nightclubs that you can visit, However, the must-try is the Mega Club Agiha. Located in the Tokyo Bay area, the party can last until sunrise. If you prefer a more mature choice for entertainment, the famous, or infamous, Kabukichu is the place to be. This red-light district is filled with some of Japan's finest adult establishments, from love hotels to massage parlors. For your information, Kabukichu is one of the busiest tourist destinations in Tokyo at nighttime. 1. Bar Hopping What is nightlife without a splurge on alcohol, right? If you want to enjoy Tokyo at night, the best thing you can do is bar hopping. The most famous spot where you can try such an activity is Golden Guy. Golden Guy is a collection of alleys mostly comprising eateries, bars, and clubs. It's just a mere 10-minute walk away from the Shinjuku station. Most of the establishments there have a specific theme. Therefore, you can have a slightly different experience from one bar to another. Posh places like Rapongi also have numerous bars that you can try. However, most of them might be a bit more costly than your usual bars. For more affordable choices, try to visit Shimbashi. Most of Tokyo's salarymen visit the place to eat and drink carelessly without breaking the bank. 
Tokyo has so much to offer, whether it's daytime or night. It's a bustling city, after all. And if you're looking to try all the aforementioned activities, you may need at least a month to do all with an appropriate amount of pacing. Additionally, don't forget to bring extra cash because you can be easily tempted by the overabundance of entertainment in the city. Guys, let me know in the comments section which activity you'd do at night when visiting Tokyo. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome updates.